With all of the recent success of the UMD men's hockey team, we've been accustomed to two very special things in the month of April. That's frozen four runs and NHL signings. Today, another Bulldog signed a deal to move on and play pro hockey. Cole Kepke has signed a two-year entry-level contract with the Tampa Bay Lightning and will report to their AHL affiliate, the Syracuse Crunch, for the remainder of the season. The two Harbors native and former Hermantown Hawk played three seasons at UMD, scoring 38 goals in a 104 collegiate games. The Lightning drafted Kepke in the sixth round of the 2018 NHL draft. Cliche to say, but it's 100% true. Um, as a player, like just even disregarding player, I've evolved a ton here as a player with the coaching staff and athletic staff and everyone here has just been amazing and just instrumental for me in growing as a player and then just like you said not only it's the people around here it's hockey is one thing but they really care about having the right people here and good people and i've been very fortunate to be around nothing but some of the best people the last three years in addition to Kepke, Jackson Cates, who was a free agent, signed a two-year deal with the Philadelphia Flyers. The 23-year-old Stillwater native played three seasons at UMD, including their national championship run in 2019. Now he will forgo his two remaining years of NCAA eligibility. Jackson's younger brother Noah is a draft pick of the Flyers as well, but has not signed his pro contract yet. An NCHC bubble, a few canceled series, an unforgettable trip to the Frozen Four for another year, even though it didn't end in a national title this time, a lot can be said for this season of hockey that was for the Bulldogs. The team held its end of year press conference today, reflecting on what was a very challenging season, testing every single day. Practices were far from no normal as different safety guidance guidelines kept players from congregating. Despite the challenges, head coach Scott Sandlin was mighty proud of the way his guys battled through it all. I think obviously they had a lot of resiliency, you know, I mean, I think uh, this, this certainly wasn't a smooth ride and, and I just never felt, and probably a lot of teams feel this way, I don't know, we got into really a, a great rhythm, you know, I'm not, I'm not using that as an excuse, but it just, it, it just was so different, you know, normally you're in that grind of the year every weekend and, you know, like I said, uh, the end of the year was so spread out, but yet they still found a way to, to, to win a, a big game, uh, in that sense it was very rewarding. Scott added that he wishes every guy would stay one more year, especially with that extra year of eligibility that the NCAA is granting. But no, they have to do what is right for them. Not